I'm going to show you how you can share a search page for Airtable. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com and I will add a URL to this in the description. So the use case here is we've got a table, we've got student IDs, and we've got grades. And the goal is we want to give students a web page that this is a web page that you can share with anybody that just requires you to input a student ID. And then we want to search the records and display the ones that match that student ID. And there has to be an exact match. So let's search for this one. Drop it in here. We hit search. And like you can see, we only see our one record. And if we had multiple records of this, it would, um, it would still work. It would just show you multiple records. One thing to point out is that the match for the student ID has to be exactly correct. And this initial page can have multiple requirements, like multiple fields. And if you have multiple fields, then you'll want to have an exact match for all of the required fields. I'll go ahead and show you how the tool looks under the hood. So this is what you would see after you buy this tool. The first three things you'll want to fill up are table IDs and base IDs and um, API key for Airtable. Follow these URLs and you should be able to find those. Next, you can fill up a view ID if you'd like. This is optional. Uh, next is the lookup fields. So this is what's shown in this page. So let's say I wanted to also add name here. I can add name, hit save. And then if I refresh here, we'll see the name as well. So now if I put that ID before and then put a random thing, I wouldn't be able to see the record, right? Because I have to match both. But if I write um, this and then write Sarah, then I'll be able to pull that record again. Next is the fields that you want to show. So as you can see, we're currently showing all of the fields of the table, but you know, in a lot of cases, you don't really want people to see everything that you have in the table. So I can, for example, remove the picture here and hit save. And then when I refresh here, there will no longer be a picture. And I can also um, reorder these, etc. And yeah, so it's pretty simple. Once you're done with that, you hit share URL, and that's where you find that, um, yeah, this page. There are two versions of this extension. There's a $10 version here and a $30 version. The difference between the two is that the $10 version will give you one page like this, so you can only use it on one table. Um, but you can have, you know, as uh, you can have as many people use it for that one table versus the second version here is it gives you unlimited tables. So you can have many, many pages like this for very different bases, different tables, different views, etc.